used to extract this sap from this tree and they used to use it to dye fabric. Mm -hmm. And they used to sell this fabric in Europe at fabulous prices. So this was actually the first oh. economical oh. resource of uh, Brazil. Now the, the tree is totally protected. Okay. And uh, you can't touch anything, you can't touch a leaf of the tree. Now this is a baby tree. Okay. It's, it can reach a height of 30 meters. Mm -hmm. It's an impressive tree also. And it is... Uh, it has little thorns on it. Well, it's a spike tree when it's young. As the tree grows and grows, the spike gradually disappears. So this is, was almost extinct, this plant, and now it it's It was almost sacred. extinct. Now it is totally protected. That's wonderful. Yeah. And what's the name of this tree? Oh, you got it. Okay. Uh, Pau Brasil Pau is Brasil. the name. Brazil wood. Right. Does it only grow in Brazil? Is it unique to Brazil? Uh, I wouldn't be able to tell you for sure, but I mean, I've never heard about this tree outside Brazil, quite honestly. I mean, this is a tree that is part of the Brazilian history. So and um, where does the dye come from, the red dye, from the it bark? It comes from leaves? inside, from the, it's a sap which is extracted from the inside of the tree. Of the tree. If you go to the botanical garden, there mm -hmm. is one of these trees that has a part of it which is open. You can see inside the tree oh. and you can see the red color inside caused by the bark. Okay, wonderful.